All right, Logan, first of the day. First question for you. Are you a morning person? I'm not. Usually I'm not. I've gotten used to it now, waking up at 7 and all that. But for the most part, high school and college, I haven't been a morning person. What's that like? I mean, as a baseball player, it's like your games are usually at night. Yep. And you come to spring training and all of a sudden they want everybody here at 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. Yeah, it's a rough wake-up call. Uh, after a couple of weeks, I've gotten used to it. But usually even in the off-season, waking up late and still getting all the training in and all that stuff. And like you said, games at night. And then you come here and... <laughs> You gotta flip the schedule, but it hasn't been too bad. How much does your life change once you get, you know, you get from your off-season life to okay, now it's baseball? Yeah, I mean, you kind of just go right into it. Like we're just getting into seven days a week now, and your whole life pretty much is now back to baseball. That's what you do. You wake up, you come here, and you stay here pretty much the whole day. So it's getting back into the swing of things, and that's why we're here. We love doing it. So it's a good place to be. We talked in the off-season. You're a Florida guy. Yeah. Uh, what is the best thing about being from the state of Florida? Uh, for me, at least in the off season, the winters were really nice. I hear a lot of people coming back complaining that they can't even get outside and all that stuff, and the weather's just great. The summers can be a little rough sometimes, but the winters are a really good place to train. What are the kind of things that you go through in the training session away from the Mariners? Um, most of the time, just weightlifting stuff, some conditioning, and then of course, once I get back into throwing, uh, just getting on the baseball field, getting on the mound, getting ready for coming back out here. Your stories, you were drafted and uh, you were coming out of uh, postseason college baseball and put up great numbers. You get into the Mariners organization and then you got what sounded like to be the most hellacious case of mono ever. <laughs> I did. How awful was it? It was <laughs> rough. I've heard some bad stories, but I had to live it to understand it. And it is rough. I lost 20 pounds and I was just feeling awful. Knives in my throat. Oh. Couldn't stand up. It was, I was on the living room floor for like a month, just couldn't move, oh so my God. it was rough, but I'm past it, so <laughs> happy to be healthy now. What was the first thing you wanted to eat when you, your throat was finally good and um, you, you could be normal again? I think I went to Chick-fil-A uh -huh. or had it brought to me, and I don't know, finally something about real food just tasted so good. Talked to Julio Rodriguez yesterday, Chick-fil-A is an absolute It is. I hear about it all the time. He goes there just about every morning, I hear. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's his go-to. <laughs> You do that too, or are you more of a healthy guy? I don't know. I try to monitor it. I limit it a little bit. Um, I go there now and then, but I wouldn't say every day. Another thing we learned about you, and I thought this was great, but you were inspired into the other side of baseball by the movie Moneyball, yeah. which I guess is now a classic. I remember yeah, we watched it. It's a I new know. movie, and now it's like it's an American classic right now. Yeah. But what was it that grabbed you about that movie? What did you take away from it? It was just, it was really interesting because I've never thought about that side of the game and there's a ton more that goes into it more than, we spend a lot of time training the players and rightfully so, but hopefully, you know, one day after a long baseball career, I could get into that side of it and everything that goes into winning a game beyond just putting people on the field and analytics and all that stuff, it's really interesting. That's something you can kind of get into on your down days when you were not pitching you're not in the game, you kind of watch a little, a little bit, yeah. That's just, uh, I guess my mind's kind of fascinated with that kind of stuff and looking at some of the, the sites we have, like True Media and stuff like that, where we can really dive into it. During the season, I try to be a little careful with it because you can kind of go down a rabbit hole, but uh, <laughs> it, is, it is interesting to look at it now again. How different is it to see that bullpen out there and it's all decked out in the rack soda and oh, right. just have it the big boards where you can see the immediate feedback yeah. you're doing your best. It's cool. They have everything you need over there. There's really no excuse not to be the best pitcher possible because you have every piece of technology out there. It's pretty cool because I, I remember just watching the game for so long and a, a guy could have a problem and eyes are important. It's important to have good eyes and what you're looking at. But hey, try this, try this. And you can look at that and you can pinpoint it like that. Yeah, absolutely. That's been a huge help. A lot of times I remember even in college I would throw a bullpen and not really know what's going on or if something was working or not and I didn't know the reason. And that can really help, um, you know, if you don't see it with your eyes firsthand, then you can always go to that and check it. How different is it for you to be in this camp this year? You know, just to know that you get some opportunities for them to see me and, and to learn some things too. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. I mean, just being in the locker room is one of the best parts. And some of the people in there and just walking by and learning a thing or two here or there. Um, being around Marco, you said it's just been great learning from those guys and seeing how they go about their business. What's it like to be the tallest guy in the field? <laughs> I guess it's pretty nice. Uh, I've heard some people say it's intimidating in the box, so I guess that's a good thing. I've always got that going for me. 
I didn't see, I was down on the other field, but there was the new drill this year. Uh, the, the, I guess you're now athletes oh, yeah. building yeah. practice and not pitchers, but you start with your back to the catcher. Somebody yells go, you turn and yep. how'd you do? Uh, it's hit or miss. One day, actually, I was the last one I won it, and really? yesterday I was one of the first out. So, okay, just depends on the day for me. All right, that's good. And I saw a Taiwan Walker won it the day that I won. Yeah, he's quite the athlete. I saw him the other day. He was pretty good. He was doing like hockey stops and yeah. everything else. <laughs> what are you doing out there? But it was effective. It was yeah. pretty cool. Uh, who are the guys that you, you kind of want to learn some things? Who are you kind of trying to follow around? Um, some of the pitchers that I said before, Marco is definitely one of the guys. Um, I like talking to Murphy a lot as a catcher, just has a different perspective, and he really understands what's going on back there. So he's been one of the guys I've talked to here and there. Trying to Has he caught you yet? Uh, he caught one bullpen, actually, yeah. It good feedback right away, so it's my kind of guy. <laughs> Have you seen the picture that they've got out of him on the boards right now? Oh, the yeah. Crazy eyes I did. Behind them? That's cool. One side of the face. One side of the yeah. face and just oh, eyes. That's, just like laser. That's just, intimidating, too. He is definitely, definitely. Uh, guys have a lot of fun with that. Uh, Cal Raleigh, I talked to him yesterday, and that was an absolute blast. And just watching his development as well. And you had a little part of that, I understand. The conversations that you guys had together. So they yeah. really grew together in this year. Yeah, it's nice to have him around. We really take an interest in each other's careers, I think, and want the best for each other. So we're constantly pushing each other as much as possible within boundaries of course I'm not telling him how to hit and he's not telling me how to pitch but uh, we really just care about seeing each other develop in the best possible way. It's a pretty nice one last year too. It is. 29 I think. Kind of help out on that end yeah. of things It's too. nice having a catcher that can hit like that too. Have you heard him sing the Beat Boy song? I have. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he gets excited after a home run he might say a few lyrics. So. Oh very good. It's pretty nice. Very good. Right. Art Warren with that big voice. I talked to him the other day and I asked if he said he says he knows exactly what song. What song? Uh, I don't know what song it was, but he sang a couple of bars, but that's all he knows. And I'm like, what, what's going on? I've heard him sing a deep country song, I think. One of the, one of the long bus trips where we did karaoke and they got art up there. It was something to see. It's pretty good. What did you sing? Oh, uh, gosh. I think it was uh, Country Roads. Oh, a classic. Yeah. Wow. I, I thought it was pretty safe. Everybody sings along to it. So. How did you know that? probably heard somebody before me do it. Okay. Yeah. That's that's an old, old, old one right there. <laughs> when you're not at the baseball field, what do you like to do? Uh, I like to golf every once in a while. Um, I'm into movies. I just like watching a good movie now. And, um, just hanging out with friends, getting outside, being active. Oh, kind of How's the golf game? It's not great. There's a lot of good golfers here, so um, I'm going to have to work on it. But I like getting out there. I think it's pretty fun. I was going to ask who's the best baseball player or golfer that you've seen. Um, I just heard uh, yesterday Haber told me he shoots around 80 sometimes. I think that's pretty good. I'm sure there's somebody here that's lower than that. That's the best I've heard. Pitcher is stretching over there. He's got a pretty good uh, golf game. The, the outfit game is even better on the I hear he's, he's good at just about everything. That's what I've been told. So he can pitch, he can hit, he can golf. Yeah. <laughs> he's a fun one, no question about it. Yeah, I think he's actually taking golf swings right now. Yeah, yeah. Might be the new warm-up method. There we go, there we go. Uh, last year, um, you were at AA for a while. It was really fun to follow the reviewers. I've got, I'm really intrigued. This is our first chance to see them. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the Joey Durbin comes Bill. Joey's fascinating um, on the mound. It's a motion I've never seen. Obviously, you have a really good fastball and throws hard, but he's so quick to the plate and, I don't know, intimidating in his own way to hitters. It's really hard to hit, and just about nobody does the first time they face him. So he's really good at what he does. Sam Dell by He strikes out everybody. <laughs> it's fun to watch. Everybody in that bullpen, if I turn the ball over whatever inning, I feel really confident. Sam fastball and slider combo strikes out everybody Wyatt Mills mid 90s sidearm somehow I don't understand it but they're just unbelievable Jack Anderson just really yeah inside. throwing it just about underhand <laughs> on the mound it's it's crazy I don't know how anybody ever gets a hit off these guys who's got the most different personality from the relievers down there um there's always a wacky reliever somewhere. It might be Haber. I think <laughs> Wilcox when you get him going he's okay. pretty out there he's a funny guy um, they're just all different in their own way. It's going to wrap it up. What would be the perfect day 
in the life of Logan Gilbert. You can dictate what you want. Perfect day. Uh, well, I'll start with sleeping in. Yes. That's, that's probably the start of my day. Um, I definitely get some baseball in there. Get get off the mound. Uh, try to get out to the golf course. That'd be nice. Uh, you know, just hang out with friends, have a good day. Maybe finish with a movie. Uh, that sounds like a pretty good day. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Looking forward to watching. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lonnie. Thank you so much.